Okay, so here we go. Question number five. And we've got all sorts of information. We've got a picture here, and it's about a flower garden in the shape of a circle. So the diameter of it is five meters, which we've got here. And it says Joe wants to put uh, sorry, John wants to put fencing around the edge of the garden. Well, two things instantly strike me about circles. I'm just going to add them to the key point section here. First of all, we know that the area of the circle is pi r squared. That's the formula for the area. And the circumference is pi times the diameter. But you can also write it as 2 times pi times the radius, or 2 pi r. Obviously, because the diameter is twice as long as the radius, because it goes all the way across the circle, whereas the radius only goes from the center to the outside in some direction. Okay? So, they're the key things about circles. And let's just be aware um, we've also got money, haven't we? So, maybe we'll add that. It's money. So, that's what I've instantly seen about this question. Let's have a go at what it asks us to do. It wants to put fencing around the outside, all the way around here. So, um, well, let's find out what the circumference is. That's what around the outside of the circle is. So, circumference is pi times diameter, which is pi times 5. And on my calculator, that is just tapping that in. Pi, I'm going to using the pi button because I've got a scientific calculator. Otherwise, um, well, that's a good point. Let's add it to this. So pi, if you haven't got a scientific calculator, it says on the front of the exam paper, use 3.142, or the pi button. So I'm just going to use the pi button on my calculator, so it's times 5. Um, and I come out with, as a decimal, it's 15. Point seven zero oh, seven nine six three two seven meters. So therefore, the cost. Well, I've got to multiply that by um, one pound eighty. So therefore, the cost is equal to my answer times one pound eighty. So times my one point eight on my calculator. And I get the answer twenty eight pounds two seven four three 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 eight eight and so on and so on pounds. So taking it off, cutting the money off here, that's twenty eight pounds and twenty seven pence. Now you could at this point realize the well, if the distance is so, that will give you that will give you all three marks, no problem. Um, you could have said here at this point, and some people did answer it this way. You could have said, well, if I need fifteen point seven meters and it comes in per meter, you could sometimes fencing only comes in panels a meter. It doesn't really make it clear in the question, but you could choose to take sixteen meters of fence. Oops. So therefore, you're going to do sixteen times. Uh, one pound eighty, and if we do that, sixteen times one pound eighty, then you get twenty-eight pounds point eight pence exactly. That is also an acceptable answer. So this is a an alternative. But if you did it with um, the fifteen point seven meters and just times it by one point eight, then that's also okay.